This video is sponsored by Brad Carey with Realty Executives Premier. If you're looking to buy or sell your home, call Brad Carey. All right, KnuckleJunkies.com here with St. Charles MMA flyweight Josh Sampo. Uh, Josh, you know, big big news that came out earlier this week. Uh, signed your UFC contract. You'll be fighting uh, Ryan Benoit on uh, November 30th, coming up here Saturday on the, on the Tough 18 finale. Uh, just, you know, obviously, first off, congratulations. And uh, just kind of talk about how uh, how the news came about. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, pretty pretty excited for this. Uh I, uh, let's see, I took Monday off of work to finish up with hunting season, you know. I had to go out and try and get a big buck. I didn't get one, but my buddy got a, a nice 10-pointer, and I hate him for it. Anyways, um, so I'm sitting at my desk Tuesday morning. Um, I get a, a phone call from my manager, and, of course, I can't answer it. I'm at work, so I let it go to voicemail. And then um, he texts me. He's like, hey, I need to talk to you right now. And I was like, all right. He said some, the text had something to do about, oh, we got, we got an offer. And with the organization I was previously in, we still had two fights on our contract. And so I was like, all right, cool. Maybe another, they got a tough guy. I don't know if a, a big UFC guy got cut. I was, a lot of things were going through my head. And then, uh, so I text him. I was like, hey, what's going on? He goes, hey, we got an offer um, for the UFC. Um, it's a, it's a multi-fight contract. And um, how soon can you make 26? And I go, ideally, I'd like like five weeks. You know, that'd be nice. You know, get a nice little training camp in. But I could probably make it in three if I had to. And uh, he goes, all right. Um, he's like, I'll let you know the details as soon as I find out. A couple hours later, he texts me back. He goes, it's a multi-fight contract. Um, they want you to fight on the 30th. And I was just like, uh, okay. I go, give me, I was like, how bad do they, how, how soon do they need to know? He goes like, they want to know like right now. I go, all right, give me a couple hours. So then, uh, Rice House is a really good friend of mine, a real good mentor of mine. He always puts things in perspective, um, regardless of, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. He tells me straight how it is. And so I wanted to talk to him before I made any decisions and, uh, called and talked to Mike. Mike was pretty ecstatic, and uh, then I talked to Rice House, and he pretty much just put it exactly how I needed to hear it, not saying go for it or not saying don't go for it, you know, just kind of doing his normal coaching whisper thing that he does. And I was like, all right, uh, text Willie back, so let's make it happen. And then um, later that uh, later that evening, I got everything in, a, in an email, all the contracts. So, You want to shed a little light on, on some of that wis wisdom in kind of a nutshell or Cliff Notes edition? Or? Uh, can't you know that that's personal between yeah, me right. and Matt. You know, it's um, if you know him, you kind of understand. He's got the loudest mind of any person I've ever known, but he's very slow to speak. You know, and me and him got a really good personal relationship, and he helps me out through a lot of things. So, now, did you think you know whenever you, you know the call was going to come? Did you think uh, good chance it could be one of these kind of short notice deals? Yeah, we, we knew that, but my manager talked to, to Shelby earlier on, um, and he asked him what we had to do, and they gave us gave him another list. So I'm like, all right, so we got we're back to this this stage. Um, we have another list of names. Um, the guy that I wanted to fight, he was fighting like he actually fought this weekend, and so I was like, all right, so I got a little bit of time. So I guess I kind of just put that in the back of my mind. I just was going to go about my life, training every now and again, not really in fight camp mode, but uh, just waiting for the outcome of that fight to see if we could get the fight that we uh, we were looking for, and uh, and then this package just got dropped in my lap so uh, you know god blesses you in many, many different ways so the uh the reaction on uh, facebook and social media was was pretty uh was, was pretty cool just i mean uh, what was that like for you i mean it seemed like stuff was just coming in congratulations from from everywhere in every direction it was it was pretty crazy in the fact that i knew 24 hours 26 hours for anybody to you know rice house knew mike knew um that was about it and uh, I couldn't tell anybody. I didn't want to tell my parents. I didn't want. I didn't want to jinx it in a sense. You know, something happened, and they're like, "Oh, never mind, psych. Uh, we we're just messing with you." Um, so I had to kind of keep that to myself. But then once it did get finally released, it it blew out on Twitter, and then it just exploded. And literally, my phone blew up, and I'm like, "Wow, this is pretty cool." You know, and everybody's like, "Congratulations, congratulations!" And and if I haven't got to you, I'm sorry. I apologize. But thanks everybody for the uh, congratulations. It, it does mean a lot, and I try to respond to everybody. Now, has your mind just been going uh, a million miles an hour? Have you had a chance to, to settle down? I know obviously you've been training, you know, trying to cut some weight and, and training and preparing for this, but... We went right back to work. Um, this is just another fight. You know, I, it, it's a bigger stage, but it doesn't shed any, take any light away from the fact that it's just another fight. So I have to go in there with that same mindset, um, train hard as, as long as I can. You know, I've I kind of got short notice on it, but, you know, that's the the, the, dealt, the cards we were dealt. So we're going to we're gonna take that. We're going to run with it. But uh, no, it's just, it's just another fight. In my mindset, yeah, it's... You know, it's going to be a completely different scenario, but I'm just going to go in there and fight like I normally do. So, I'm and excited. Obviously. And, uh, you know, the guys that 
kind of a known finisher. I, we've talked about past before you. I mean, you're not one to kind of to pour over too much videotape. You kind of let, leave that to to the coaches and just kind of, kind of what do you know about this guy? What's going to be key? As uh, as I am with with all my film, you know what I mean. Uh, I know that I'm not the same fighter as I was my last fight. So that's another reason I don't look at tape. My coaches can break down some of his tendencies. They see how he, um, some of the habits he'll have and throughout a fight. Oh, sorry, that's uh, that's their job. I feel you know they do a good job with that. Um, this guy's got heavy hands, but so has Alexis Vila. So did the last guy I had. So has the dude before that. Everybody I fight has got quote unquote heavy hands. So I mean. Let's let's go fight and find out. That's the reason we fight. On paper, it's a completely one story. When we get in the cage, it's a completely another story. So I'm I'm excited to get in there and uh, throw hands with this guy. So, and you alluded to it early on, but I mean, this is a multi-fight uh, contract, and then the CFA is nothing of the past. Um, yeah, we had a, we had a UFC clause with them. They right. did they did great by me, man. They were they were good people. A little frustrating from times, but you know they did the best that they could with what they had. You know, and uh, I really appreciate them giving me the opportunities that they gave me. But it's time to move on. You know, so we we did what we could down there. We fought the tough dudes that we we uh, were able to get fights with, and now we're on to the next stage. And and it's uh, it's looking good so far. I'm excited. Just in closing, man, any kind of last uh, kind of final shout-outs or anything here before we uh, sign off? Uh, Matthias Lot Church, you guys are amazing. Uh, Francis Howell Wrestling, um, Alpo Sklitch, he's, he's the man. He helps me, pushes me hard, makes me the uh, fighter I am. Um, yeah, just everybody, thanks for the prayers and uh, constant uh, uh, constant support. All right, man, we know uh, St. Louis will be rooting for you. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. KnuckleJunkies.com.